Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this artwork from beginning to end. So once again, I start with the head, just like I always do. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know I always do it this way. Um, I then create guides for the body. Um, I had a really good reference of a Blue Archive artwork. If you're also a long time viewer of my channel, you know that Blue Archive artworks are just my bread and butter of going to whenever I'm trying to look for inspiration for my artwork. I'm just outlining all the parts. I couldn't quite get the legs right whenever I first started, but I ended up getting them in the end. Um, my issue was whenever I first started off that I took too much from the reference. Um, so I tried to change things up, that way I didn't like steal the, the other artist's idea. Because, you know, it's just, be nice. If you are inspired by something, be honest about it. It's okay. So yeah, I ended up changing the shirt later down the line. I, I really struggled to figure out what I want to do with the arms and hands. Whenever I first started doing this, you see I just go crazy trying to figure out what to do with the arms and hands because everything just felt so stiff. So I ended up going for some like athletic wear, very skin tight. Um, honestly, I probably should have uh, made kind of a sports bra to keep them together, but you know, a rule of cool sometimes trumps everything toward the end. So draw what looks good, even if it doesn't make sense. So I ended up going for kind of like a hand on the hip, like resting the palm a bit, but it took me a while to get to that point. Um, I ended up uh, kind of blocking out the hands and I was really satisfied with how they turned out this time. So I'm very proud of that as I'm currently figuring it all out. So I wanted to draw wings. Usually when I draw characters that are like animal-esque characters or kind of a hybrid. Um, I don't know, I just really like drawing wings. They're so much fun to draw. You can see the guides I have for the head. Um, I'm gonna do a video in greater detail on how to place eyes and facial features because I feel like that's a, that's a thing that trips up a lot of people and I feel like I have a lot I can explain with that. I'm also working on a uh, hair tutorial here pretty soon so Hopefully you guys stick around and see that because I'm really looking forward to making it for you. If you're liking this video so far, it'd do me a really big solid and like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and that'll help out a whole lot and I hope you enjoy my future videos as well. I'm starting to block out all the uh, base colors and kind of planning the lighting. Um, I ended up doing a lot more to the sketch this time than I usually do, which is not typical for me, but sometimes when I get in the zone, I start to do that. Started off with a kind of a rim light hitting the kind of the ab lower abdomen area, kind of near the crotch. Having that reflective light is super important. Sometimes I forget to do it in my other artworks, but I'm starting to figure it out now. Um, I'm reading a book called How to Render, and I would recommend looking it up whenever you have the time. It's a fantastic book that goes into great detail on the rendering process and how to make things look realistic. And it even teaches you the math behind lighting, which is super important. I highly recommend it. Look it up, How to Render. It's so good. So now I'm planning the background, drawing some birds, getting the, uh, the clouds, making it look right. Just making little adjustments to make sure it looks kind of like the final product so I can feel satisfied with it whenever I go into the lining phase. Ah! I'm... Got something stuck in my throat. Ah! I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Did a little bit of post -proce processing to make it look like the finished artwork. Um, I then adjust the uh, composition a bit. And I didn't know if I wanted to go for that cloud background or just a white background, but I ended up changing the top to have uh, more uh, white in it just because I felt like it will make you look where I want you to look. 
I then do hue saturation and get rid of all the color to check to see if uh, everything's popping out the way it's supposed to. And nothing is clashing. Now comes the lining process, and this is a long process for me, but it's also one of the most relaxing parts of the drawing for me. Um, I know not a lot of people like um, doing line art, so here pretty soon I'm going to make an attempt to draw um, an artwork without line art and kind of guide you through my experience doing that, just in case you want to try something different. And it'll be something new for me as well, so that'll be a fun experience for all of us. I also probably need to start drawing more guys here pretty soon because I've, I've gotten pretty good at drawing girls, but I still struggle to draw attractive looking men. So future goals. You'll notice I'm using a very thin line. I purposely use thin lines and um, a large canvas. My canvas is always 4000 by 6000 pixels. Um, I find that's just big enough. 300 dpi, that way it looks crisp whenever it's printed, and it usually looks good on larger prints as well. So if you're ever planning to sell your artwork, I would recommend 300 dpi. Also, um, a lot of printing companies will recommend you use larger dpi's. The smaller it is, the less detail, and usually the printer will mess up and the colors will look off. So I added a lot of extra um, tangles in the hair this time. I'm actually not too proud of how the hair turned out this particular time. And though though it looks okay, I feel like I kind of rushed it in the end. And that's, um, that's my mistake. Remember when you're wrapping the hair around the head, you want to treat it like there's almost a bowl on top of the character. If you follow the outline of the bowl, it should look correct. This is kind of the character's uh, main thing is the hair just going everywhere. I love drawing messy, crazy hair it's so much fun and it just makes me so happy to do it like that way I ended up changing the wings because I felt like the wings uh, looked weird in the sketch so I fixed them but now we're on to the base colors and I'm just making sure all the colors are correct I'm really happy with the with the athletic bottom that I drew. I, I think it turned out very good and it fit the body really well. I'm super proud of that. Um, so that was the big thing in this artwork. I'm like, yay, I learned how to do something new. So I kept the background, but I changed a few things. That way it looks a bit better. Now we're starting the rendering. And I was following the reference and noticed a lot of extra colors reflecting on the skin. And that's something that I learned through the reference, how different colors reflect and bounce back up. And the book, How to Render, also talks about that. So again, highly recommend. Look up How to Render. It's such a good book. I use the selection pen to make sure my gradients look soft and hard at the same time. It's a little trick a lot of people use while rendering. Use a selection pen, highlight a specific area, then use uh, an airbrush to create a gradient that is both hard and soft at the same time. Once again, I'm reminding you that if you are enjoying this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, helps out a whole lot, and I will see you in the next video when that time comes. But for now, let's get back to this video. So, the hair rendering I did this time, not super proud of it. I'm going to be the first to admit that. I feel like I didn't quite get the lighting correctly, and it just, it just didn't feel right. So, in the end, I feel I kind of bombed the hair, but everything else looks good, so I give myself a pass.
Can I do that? Can I give myself a pass? No? Alright, let me know in the comments. But then I started working on the background, getting some cool looking clouds. Um, I have a cloud brush that I downloaded from an artist who they you can either pay for it or get it for free. I personally dropped the, the artist like $3 just to say thank you. I'm not the richest guy in the world. I'm actually not that well to do. But um, still, try to treat your, the artists and brush makers nice. As long as they're making stuff for us, then it's good for us to uh, help them out every now and then. All right, we are close to the end now. Just adding the finishing touches, like adding feathers, some motion blur. Now the post-processing here pretty soon. Yeah, all right. Add some tonal curves, some level correction, hue and saturation. I ended up adding like a little halo, which is kind of cute, but I ended up getting rid of it. I kind of wish I hadn't now, but that's the artwork. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.